Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Tom on Texas Five with Two Outdoors, and today we got another unboxing or unpackaging of something that came in. So let's open it right quick. I got this from uh, I don't know how many of y'all have heard of it, but AR15 Discounts got a little sticker that came in with it. But all it is. Right. Hey, sweetheart. Right. Okay, I'll we'll get you a wipe. Right. Let me pause this for a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, my my assistant needed assistance. But uh, what we got here are these KAW Valley Precision uh, Springs for. My lower that they're going in, they're spring for the trigger. So they all uh, reduce uh, the AR trigger pull. It's basically like buying a drop in trigger, but this is uh, just the springs. So I've never done this before, but we're gonna try it out. And then hopefully soon I can take it out to the range and uh, see how it does. Cause on my other build, on my uh, 450 build, I do have a drop in trigger, three and a half pound pull. And uh, that trigger is, uh, I'm, it's awesome. So we're gonna try out these springs in here. You should see how they do. I mean, there was only, how much was it? The, the springs only 10 bucks for the springs. You know, uh, cause it says right here, reduce AR trigger pull. In our digital testing, the KVP reduced power springs yielded a five to six pound pull weight. Mill spec single stage fire control groups. Factory mill spec fire control groups range from eight to nine pounds with factory springs. So typically fire control groups will achieve a two to four pound reduction in uh, pull weight. So with these ladder springs, they're gonna reduce it by two to four pounds, so which is, you know, basically what it, what it would be with a uh, drop in trigger. So I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get these installed in, uh, in this lower right here. Now I'm going to get right back to y'all. All right, everybody, I'm back. I uh, got the uh, trigger in with the new springs, with the, with the reduced power springs. Um, so I will say, let's try it out. So I'm going to hammers back down. I'm going to pull the trigger and see how it feels. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's try that again. I want to make sure you hold your hammer down. You don't want this hammer to come flying back and hitting your hitting your lower because that's not good. You could uh, you could damage it. Okay, so we're gonna hold the trigger back. Let that come back. Then we'll let off. Oh wait, sorry. Let me do that again. I'm supposed to hold the trigger. Do that. And then we're gonna put the hammer back and check the reset. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, y'all. I can definitely feel like a little reduced in the trigger in the trigger pull compared to when I first did it. You know what? Let me see. I got another lower here. Let me try it on this one. Yeah, I can definitely feel the more weight on this one. For this one, you have to pull back quite a bit. This is just your standard mill specs uh, trigger. Yeah, I could definitely feel it in this one. So let me do it again on this one. Oh yeah, that's a little that's smoother right there. But you know, I'm gonna take it to the range and try it out, see how it does. Um, see, I, and I gotta get with somebody who has an actual um, trigger weight scale to pull back and see what it's what it's at right now. Uh, but you know. If it's if it didn't reduce it that much, then I'm just gonna do a drop in trigger. I, I do plan on doing a drop in trigger on this lower, and depending on how this one is, if it you know if it's uh, if it did reduce it, then I'm gonna leave just leave it like that with the springs. But if not, I will put a drop in trigger on it later on. But uh, so I mean that's it for this, y'all. Um, like I said, I got it from uh, SKW Valley Precision from uh, AR15 uh, Discounts. Uh, look them up. Uh, I have ordered there from there. I have ordered from them before uh, they have some really good pricing on there like everything on there is like name brand good quality stuff 
Uh, you will find some lower end stuff on there, but I did see on these um, a good, it's like four and a half star reviews on these. So that's the only reason why I got them. They're, you know, really inexpensive. A uh, little quick, well, not quick, but it's a little upgrade to your trigger. I know it's not a drop in, it's just a spring. So, we, like I said, we're going to try it out and see how it does. But for now, this is Tom with Texas Pop to our doors, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Everybody, hope you have a good day. Oh, today's Easter. Happy Easter, y'all. And let's get it.